Welcome to Lifestyle Profiles. I'm Wendy McGowan Ellis, and this week our guests are Stacy Parkle and Pete Limery, both with Tudor Doctor. So welcome, Stacy and Pete. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for being here. Nice to be here. Excellent. So let's start with your background. How did y'all get to Frisco? Oh, and by the way, this is a father-daughter team, so this is going to be <laughs> so precious today. Thank you for so, clarifying that. Yes. <laughs> Well, I came to Frisco for a job. Uh, my work migrated here. Uh, I lived in several places, Houston, uh, New Jersey, places like that, but it eventually led me to Dallas. And uh, I've always been in the computer business, different facets of it, service, software, and hardware. That was when the uh, PC revolution was just starting. Right. I've uh, gone through the whole thing. And I retired about 10 years ago. Uh, I, during my career, I've, I've started several businesses for okay. corporations, large corporations and small corporations. So that's been pretty much my background and pretty much been in sales. Okay. Uh, I've also been associated with education because my wife was a teacher for 20 years. And I've also mentored children for over 40 years myself. And of course, uh, Stacy had the same aptitude when she uh, became an adult and she taught for 10 years. So I've always been around education and always enjoyed seeing kids uh, excel in school. Yes, Stacy. Well, um, I came to Frisco, I've been in Frisco for 22 years now. And um, I came to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I kind of just followed them. Yes. They had just moved to Dallas from Houston when I graduated college. And um, I was a teacher in uh, Plano when I first got here. Stayed at home with my kids for 10 years. And at that time I started some of my own little businesses. Um, I did website design and other little businesses and um, went back to teaching in Frisco and then McKinney and um, during that time decided that I really loved owning my own business and I don't really remember how but somehow it came across that Tudor Doctor was looking to open franchises in the U.S. and um, it combined education, combined my love for running businesses. He was newly retired and ready to do something. To start other a new than, project. <laughs> other than playing golf. <laughs> Good. And um, it was just perfect timing and um, right up our alley. So we started in 2011 with Tudor Doctor. So what's the mission and vision of Tudor Doctor? How's it different from other tutoring organizations? Okay. Well, well oh, sorry. I was going to say those are two questions. How's, yes. it, how's it different? What's, what's our mission? Yes. Our mission is pretty much the same as most tutoring organizations or teaching. We want to see kids excel. And many times uh, kids have special needs. And I'm not talking about ADD, stuff like that. I'm just talking about the way they learn, mm -hmm. the way they absorb the information. And uh, it's hard to be focused on when they're in a classroom environment. Right. So uh, we wanted to provide a service that will help children to thrive uh, based upon their own specific needs. And uh, we found the best environment for that is one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And also many times taking them out of the classroom, uh, a group environment where the, the focus can be on them. Yeah. And, and concentrate on them so that it minimizes their time and it maximizes their, their uh, knowledge. So that was our mission to, to help them exceed. That makes sense. Yeah. So Stacy, you want to answer the second part? So um, ways that set us apart were one-on-one. -on -one. We go to the home, so we're convenient. So you don't have to wait at a learning center. Right. Um, and a lot of learning centers are actually like mini classrooms. Yes. Um, the tutors we hire are professionals. Um, we also make sure we collaborate with the teachers in the classroom so the kids um, their work is staying in alignment with what they're learning in the classroom. Exactly. Um, and most of all, we're present. We live in the community. We I've taught in the school districts. Um, there is no other tutoring company or education company in this area that has all of those elements in one company. And I love the fact that you're going into the child's home, like where they're the most comfortable and yeah. probably the learning is easier to absorb. So what is the general area that you guys cover besides Frisco? Because I know it's Frisco, mm -hmm. but then what are the cities? We cover, do you want me to name them all? Sure. <laughs> we cover Frisco, McKinney, Prosper, Salina, Little Elm, Savannah, Flower Mound, Argyle, Lantana, Great. Roanoke, Ponder, Justin, Trophy Club, Lake Dallas, 
and Denton and Corinne. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you just named all of those. You get a star <laughs> for that. That's a huge area. Yeah. That's wonderful. So how many tutors do y'all employ? That depends sounds like on a the lot. time of the year. Okay, that's and true. Have what kind of students we have? Right. Um, because we our students are K through 12. Okay. We tutor every subject, including test prep. So STAR test prep, ACT, SAT test prep. So we have to hire tutors that are knowledgeable in that subject and can transfer the knowledge and will drive to that student's home. So sometimes that can mean that we have three chemistry tutors because one's gonna handle Flower Mound and right. one's gonna handle Southwest Frisco and one's gonna handle Northeast McKinney. Yes. Um, so I would say on average, maybe 90, but we've got, gotten up to 140, we've gotten down to 70, so. Just we actually have a roster of 350 tutors that we work with. That's amazing, yeah. that's mm -hmm. wonderful. And so some of them roll on, roll off, yes. depending on the yes, time of do. year yeah. and the subject. Sometimes uh, over the years, as their schedules change, they go away, sometimes they come back. Right, the but they all understand the tutor doctor way, Absolutely. if you will. Absolutely. That's yeah. That's fantastic. That's really important to us. Exactly. So what are the biggest challenges for you guys as the business owners running those all of those cities and all of those tutors okay well I think there's uh, two aspects of those challenges one is just running the business the right. physical administrative details and most of that's pretty boring but there are some challenges and the other side is is uh, dealing with the, the students and the teachers and the, and the clients the parents themselves right uh, I think the biggest challenge is uh, getting everybody invested we, we talked about we collaborate with the teachers and the parents. It, it, it's kind of that saying that, you know, it takes a village. Yes. Uh, in order to, for the tutoring to be effective and have an effect on the students' uh, achievements, uh, we have to have everybody involved. And the most important person to be involved is the student themselves. Mm -hmm. But the rewards must be awesome. Like, do you have a student that has started with you guys and then graduated and been accepted oh, yeah. in Many. college? Okay, let's yeah. hear about that. Um, well, gosh, we have a lot who <laughs> kind of yeah. started with us, yeah. you know, as a fourth grader and they're in college and then they'll call us back. We will do um, online tutoring as well. We have an online tutoring program we use and they'll call us back for like college algebra and um, so it's not abnormal for kids to start with us. Um, the funny thing is, is back when we started, tutoring still had kind of a stigma to it. And a lot of those kids would start with us with this kind of like, oh, why do I need a tutor? Gosh, am I dumb? Why right. am I needing a tutor? And, um, and those students over time learned that, wow, this is actually helping me a lot and I like it and stayed with us. But we've seen this metamorphosis of um, the attitude towards tutoring where a lot of times now, We've, we have students call us. I recall one story that stands out most, and it was pretty close to when we started the business. I think it was back in 2012, 2013. We had a, uh, a girl, a young girl. She was, I think she was a senior in school. She was taking chemistry, had been frustrated with all her science subjects. And uh, she was about ready to give up. Uh, so her father called us in as an emergency and said, can you tutor her and give her some confidence to, to not only try to learn but also to stand up in class and ask questions right and she was she had her heels dug in she wasn't going to accept tutoring so we went through a few sessions and she still had her heels dug in and she father called us and said well we're gonna give up so I went over to talk to him and I convinced him to, to just try it for a few more months and uh, so after a few months I, we contacted her and they were doing fine That's she really great. loved the tutor six months later I got a letter I got a letter from the young girl Oh. saying that she now just didn't have the confidence to, to learn chemistry. She was actually the leader in her class, and she was the one to, first one to ask questions. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So how can our audience find out more about Tutor Doctor? Because if I had a child, th this is these are wonderful, amazing stories. Y'all are making a real difference in, mm -hmm. the, in a, the local community here. So how can we find out more? Well, the first thing you need to do is call our office or visit our website. Uh, the office number is 972-372-0338. Um, our website is tutordoctor.com backslash Frisco dash McKinney. Okay. Well, doing more than raising test scores, building confidence here in Frisco with Tutor Doctor. Stacy Parkle and thank Pete you Limery. so much for having Thank us. you so much for coming today. Appreciate it. Thank you.